Yeah, dude. We have Alcantosian for everybody. And for the thumbnail. Alcantosian. Oh my god. Alcantosian. Michael. Label and branding. So, I like their bottle because their name is raised underneath the label. It's a nice shaped bottle. The label of it in itself is not over the top. Gives you the information that you need. And they're, you know, fairly gentle earth tones. Mm -hmm. It gives a little bit of a history on the back. Hey, let me see the back. Okay. And the front states that it's triple distilled, which is very unique for this distillery, as Mm -hmm. you touched on earlier. And it actually gives you tasting notes, which I just saw right now, which are interesting because I do taste all this. So we'll save it for the tasting notes section. But this is, it's a very cool bottle. It's very classy and it has the raise on it. So it automatically gets the, uh, one of the higher ones. One of the higher ratings because it's raised and it's unique. It's a unique bottle. So what are you giving it? I give it an A plus check mark. A plus check mark. Nailed it. All right, nose. Oh my god, I love this so much. In one side, you're not getting any alcohol in here. In one side, I'm getting caramel and brown sugar, and the other side, I'm getting floral notes. Yeah, I'm I'm getting floral notes, and then I'm getting a hint of fruit. What kind of fruit do you know? I, I can't, hold on. <laughs> Why would he ask me that when we're doing a whiskey review? <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. Take a step back, take a step back, take a step back. Also, another thing that I really like about scotch, most of it comes like this, comes in a cool cardboard box. That's dope. Throw that box up to the camera. Let them see what we're working with here. This is sick. I love that Scotch does this, and, and higher-end whiskeys do it too, but it makes for a cool collector's item. Like, I want to keep that box and display it somewhere because it's just so nifty and so cool. I'm 87 years old because I just used the term nifty. <clears throat> All right, sorry, nose. It is nice. Caramel, brown sugar, flour, fruit. Yeah, I'm getting... A like baking an baking spice? I'm getting like an apricot, like citrusy orange oh. thing. Through the nose? That's the fruit that oh, I'm getting. Oh, yeah, okay. I can see that now. Are you getting that? Yeah. So, what? I give it an A++ check mark. I would give it an A++++ check mark. You're all hot and bothered over the nose yeah, right I now. I love this whiskey so much. Whiskey, no E. True Nui. All right. Initial taste. Dude, I love this so much. I literally can't get over how much I love this. You can taste in the initial taste. Like a buttered toast. Now now I want it for dinner. Buttered toast? Yeah. There you go. (laughs) Think buttered toast. Buttered toast. Yeah. It's gentle though. It's not It's very gentle. Yeah. It's not like a <clears throat> like a sourdough. Right. Who even has sourdough? Actually sourdough is mad good. As Ooh, toast, yeah. 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 Oh yeah. And it's like buns. Right. But anyway, it's like a regular wheat toast. Buttered. Buttered. Emphasis on the fact that it's buttered. It is so look at creamy smelling. I don't we get it. You're obsessed. I love scotch so much. That's the only reason why I started this podcast, so we can start reviewing scotch. It's it. I love it. Are you getting that too or no? Yeah, a little bit. I definitely get the I get the butter toast. There's not a lot of spice. What do you want to rate it, though? God, don't ask me, because I'm going to give it the highest rating of them all. A plus, 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 check mark. <laughs> You, 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 I agree. you, I agree, I agree, I agree, oh. I agree, I agree, I agree, um, ending notes, you're getting a little melon, I mean, maybe that's initial, dude, it's a lingering burn, mm-hmm. 
it stay it's very oily. You can tell that it's very oily because it it definitely mm-hmm. like Good, look at your, it sitting in the glass. Yeah, it coats your mouth too. It's similar to It's just hung up there, man. Yeah. What is the one that we the new riff one? That yeah, was the, very oily. Yeah, the new riff is oily you, too. You drink it and it just coats your entire mouth, even if it doesn't touch your mouth. Mm-hmm. It it literally looks like golden honey sitting in the glass. This is so good. So, my ending note, I, I am getting honey. It's like the residual effects of the toasted butter up front. Mm-hmm. So, I'm getting honey on the back end. Buttered toast. Yeah. What toasted did I say? Butter. Well, yeah, butter toast. <laughs> Christ. But yes, I agree. I agree, I agree. I agree, I agree, I agree. All right, so honey. Um... Maybe the butter toast is at the end. Is your butter toast and honey at the end? No, it's at the end of the initial taste. I agree with you. It's not ending now. I agree, I agree, I agree. <laughs> but I'm also getting some sort of melon, like a honeysuckle or something. We're just going to have to go to the store and just start eating random fruit. Dude, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. All right. I'm also getting a heavily pepperoni taste to it. I think we got to have some pizza. Oh, my God. <laughs> ending note, I'm giving it an A++ check mark. A++ check mark. <laughs> Alright, final rating. Dude, this is bad. This is gonna be my highest one, yeah, just saying. I just love <laughs> Alright, Derek, go ahead. 99! <laughs> but what about the one? <laughs> Alright, uh, ready? Yeah, 3, yeah. 2, 1.